Decidement, an empire currently worth millions of dollars with many business avenues under its wing. This group based in the United Kingdom consists out of KSI, Zerka, Miniminter, Tope Jizzle, Bazinga, Vicstar and W2S. But what if there was another member? The question has been asked plenty of times and many would fit the role, but the person that got closest was the Icelandic Gudjon Daniel. Before the Sidemen was even a thing, KSI and Gudjon Daniel became close friends. Friends. And if Gujon played his cards right, would have probably resulted in him joining the Sidemen. However, that is not what happened, as Gujon has nowadays disappeared after becoming one of the most hated YouTubers ever and ruining his career. Who would I punch in the throat? Probably Gujon Daniel. And to understand this, we need to go back all the way to the beginning. The year was 2012, and KSI rapidly started gaining popularity with his videos. He was mainly known for his unique FIFA videos at the time, as he got around half a million views on on every single video. But even when he did Q&As, the viewers would watch, as his 500,000 subscribers stuck around for his personality. His growth was astronomical during 2012, as he gained millions of views and tens of thousands of subscribers each month. But never let it get in the way of his friendships. The key to maintaining growth is expanding your network. And he was friends and collaborated with many other FIFA creators like AA9Skills, Nepenthes and Gudjon Daniel. And the last one on that list is one he got very close with. Now Gudjon Daniel was never really anywhere near the level of KSI and his other friends, as he only had 18,000 subscribers and still worked in a soap factory, feeling miserable about his career. Well, he wanted to change this and he believed that JJ was his way out. KSI was one of the biggest FIFA YouTubers at the time, which is why he got invited to an EA event to play FIFA Street. And this is where he met Gujon Daniel in person. They had a ton of fun together, but Gujon still had this dream of full-time YouTube plaguing his mind. And he stepped up to KSI to say the following. He's like, I want to I wanna, I wanna do YouTube full-time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to help you out. I'm going to be a good man because we're good friends. Now JJ, being the kind man he is, decided he was going to fly over to Iceland Iceland, where Gujon lives, and to make videos with him to elevate his career. Gujon Daniel was over the moon and instantly informed his subscribers of this incredible news. My friend is kind of wishes me in, in August. You, uh, you guys may know him, but his name is JJ, KSI LJ Debate. And this is when his life would change forever. KSI was now in Iceland and filmed a lot of videos together for Gujon's channel. Gaming, chat roulette, football, all of it. And they even created JJ's iconic 500,000 subscriber special, after which he eventually flew back to the UK. Now before KSI's visit, Gujon averaged anywhere from 10 to 60,000 views. But when the collaborative videos got uploaded, his channel exploded. Every non-gaming video with KSI got at least 100,000 views and Gujon Daniel quickly doubled his subscriber count. This was absolutely fantastic, as his subscriber count rose even higher to 80,000 in October, and Gujon now thought that he had the breakthrough he always wanted. However, there was a caveat in his plan of full-time YouTube, as the views declined again after the KSI videos dried up. Gujon simply couldn't keep the audience he wanted, as he had nowhere near the energetic personality of JJ. And where normal creators would find a way to adapt and do their own thing, Gujon didn't. He was convinced that making videos with KSI was the only way to grow his channel, and this made him go all in. What he did next would be considered brave and passionate by some, or completely insane by others, as he booked a flight to London during Christmas time without JJ knowing. After it was all confirmed, he called up KSI and said that he was coming to England to film more videos. I was like, don't you want to just come say hi? Or just... He's like, yeah, yeah, I want to say hi. But then also videos, like a load, a load of videos. So I was like, now this already seemed quite disingenuous, but there was one more thing that made this trip even worse, as Gujon didn't even book a hotel, and practically asked JJ to pay for a hotel close to his house. At this point, most people would have probably ended the friendship, but KSI had such a kind heart that he agreed, and they filmed even more videos during a time where celebrating Christmas and the new year with family and friends should be prioritized over business. Nonetheless, Gujon took half of the footage back home, and started uploading the video 
videos in January. This time seeing even more views than before and finally reaching over 100,000 subscribers. At the time, KSI had achieved somewhat of a milestone himself, as he now had over 1 million subscribers. And when Gujon ran out of the videos he took home, he requested JJ for the rest so he could continue his momentum. But he was in for an unpleasant surprise, as KSI would only send the second batch of videos if Gujon paid him back for the hotel, which he said he would do, but ultimately never did. This meant that the footage never got sent his way, and JJ never mentioned him again after this, resulting in a period where everything went sort of quiet. Until Gujon Daniel ended his career in a matter of seconds. We were now in 2014, a whole year later, and Gujon Daniel got interviewed by a YouTube channel called Kick TV Gaming. He got asked a few questions about FIFA, and when the interviewer started talking about KSI, he said this. Okay, fine, you play, fine. You play KSI. Who the right. f is that? Okay, uh, oh, 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 okay. No. Obviously, JJ wasn't happy about this, and responded to this statement on Twitter, saying that he made his channel and that he wasn't grateful. This was the point where Gujon Daniel's career took a devastating downturn. Fall. Because when you insult a man you share 80% of your audience with, you will get attacked. His videos started getting bombarded with dislikes, and Gujon slowly became one of the most hated YouTubers in the community. Now normally you could overcome hate like this by just giving it time, but when you disrespect one of the biggest YouTubers, use them for views, refuse to pay them back, and don't apologize, it will continue. And the hate didn't stop for an entire year. In August of 2015, Gujon decided to to call it quits, as he uploaded a final video titled It is time to say goodbye, and in it he apologized. So here we go, let's just do this, I KSI, whatever I did to you, I sincerely do apologize. I just wish I could take everything back, JJ man, we used to be good friends, so yes, I am so sorry man. Now this apology sounded far from sincere, but KSI accepted it. KSI liked the video, and he responded by saying, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Don't know when you started talking like you're constantly constipated, but apology accepted. And even said that if he did it earlier, he would have forgave him and none of this would have happened in the first place. Would you have forgiven him? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I would have. Gujon disappeared from YouTube for two years, and nobody really heard from him anymore, until he returned in August of 2017, as he wanted to give it one more try. The comments were now more positive, and people were forgiving, which led to Gujon fully returning to uploading. He brought back nostalgic series, showed us his life and how happy he was with his newborn child, and eventually took another break. But this time, it wasn't because of the hate. No, he was now a father, which is incredibly time consuming, and he had to do something off camera as well. Gujon didn't feel good about his apology, and decided to visit KSI in person, not to record videos or book hotels, but to apologize for real. And this was truly wholesome. Now he returned again in March of 2018 after settling more into the father lifestyle, uploaded boxing, football, FIFA and Fortnite videos, took another two year break, returned to stream on Twitch, and eventually completed completely vanished after a 12 hour charity stream in December of 2020. So what is he up to nowadays? Well, Gujon Daniel continued streaming on Twitch until June of 2021, but eventually quit that as well because a new chapter in his life was about to start. You see, Gujon had found a new passion, and that passion was police work. He officially started out as a police officer on June 5th, and eventually left behind content creation to pursue this new job to the fullest. Gujon turned 30 years old in January of this year, his child kept growing up, a new baby was on the way, he enjoyed his life in Tenerife, and after that, this appeared from Twitter as well. It is safe to say that a lot has happened in 10 years, as JJ is now a superstar, while Gujon is an ordinary family man. But I don't think he's bothered. Yes, being a part of the sidemen and having the same success as KSI would be fantastic, as the man is incredibly rich, but then he also might not have had the time to build a family and find his passion for police work. Some people are just not meant for the YouTube lifestyle, creativity and hard work that it takes, and would rather have the certainty of a full-time job they enjoy and the guaranteed time they can spend with their family. So at the end of the day, I think it worked out for both of them. And we will never know what the sidemen would have looked like if the Icelandic creator would have just paid for that one hotel room. Now this was the video, please leave a like if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe, and I might see you guys in this other video right here.